I'm Hiroki Takeuchi. I'm an animation producer. Some of my representative work includes the Animatrix, based off the American film The Matrix. Another would be my privately produced Voices of a Distant Star, which we did with a very small crew. I've also done a diverse range of Japanese animation titles. I first had the pleasure of getting involved when I was asked to bring a crew together to do Shenmue's concept digital animation. Our job was to visually represent the ideas that were in Yusan's head. So first we did some videos. Then the next step was to do the work of taking those videos to expand and solidify the direction of the game. Unlike movies or animation, you participate in video games, and through your various interactions, that world then gradually unfolds. And that is what we needed to accomplish, how to bring it to that form. Being an animation producer, I felt I could contribute to that from the viewpoint of animation and video. It was like that pretty much the whole time. When I and the rest of the staff first started, the complete realization of what Shenmue was to be was still all in Yu Suzuki's head. So our start line was how to begin sharing that with everybody. Yusan and I have been working together for quite a while now, but Shenmue was the first time we were producing something together that closely. I was extremely interested in this man, Yu Suzuki, how he turns his vision, his inspiration into something tangible, his process that is creating a video game. In all of my years in the world I've known, he was a different artist from all of the rest. He has all of these qualities, that artistic process, that creative energy, that imagination. Without a doubt, he takes the top place in all the people I know. His work is absolutely gripping, electrifying. Most people may know, Yu Suzuki's name is synonymous with Virtua Fighter. Virtua Fighter is born, and then after it started to take on a life of its own. The creation of Shenmue became Yu San's first real foray into the home console games. From Yu San, this concept of Shenmue was created. Now we call it open world. But back then, we were calling it free. It was to be the future, the direction of movies and comics. Virtua Finder was much the same. Up until then, fighting games were experienced in 2D. It was about the beauty of the visuals and the animation, the brilliance of the picture. What Yu Suzuki did with Virtua Finder, though, is to bring in a sense of reality to the game. When you were fighting, you felt the pain the strength of the punch through that game device. It was part of you. This is 3D, a world created there inside the console. That is Yu Suzuki. He creates those other worlds. Yu Sun often said it when we were in development. Don't you want to be someone else to live that life? Not this life you're living right now, but what if you were reborn into a different life? What would you want to do? I remember him saying that, how Shenmue was to paint that picture. I believe the conventions of open world games today came from this idea, this construct that Yu Suzuki had formulated. The first time I met Yusan, I was actually working at Shueisha, the publishing house. They published Dragon Ball and Weekly Young Jump, the manga magazine. I was a member since the second year of their founding. Yusan had then made Virtua Racing the masterpiece driving game. We were to make the strategy guide for it. And at the time, I was really into arcade games and was playing Virtua Racing at the arcades quite a bit. I really wanted to know who made this revolutionary game, and from that interest, I got to meet him. When I did actually meet him, he was very courteous and exceptionally friendly, not to be glib about it. I 
won't forget it. Because the more we talked, I knew he was that half step, that step ahead. He had a decided vision for creating the next world in gaming. I think the reason Yu Suzuki's games are interesting is because he himself is always enjoying life. Inside him, the games he wants to create and his vision for himself are one and the same. Yu Suzuki's personal life and his work life are a perpetual whole. That is why he can always come up with the next new thing. That something we have never seen before. Since then, I have always wanted to know what yu -san is thinking, what he will do next, which is different from the industry as a whole, even though I keep my eye on them as well. What I expect from Shemu 3 is not just what is in the game or its system, but rather the ideas and the thought that will make it up. I think we'll be seeing the next incarnation of Yu Suzuki, and I can guarantee we'll all be there for the anticipation and excitement.